opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. Cxd5 opens up the center, after black recaptures with nxd5, white is prepared to answer with e2-e4. Nxd5 recaptures the d5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. e4 takes full control of the center and attacks the knight on d5. Nxc3 trades the attacked knight, and gives white a large center that black will attempt to attack. Bxc3 recaptures the knight and supports the d4 pawn. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Bc4 develops the bishop to an aggressive diagonal where it helps control the d5 square and attacks the f7 pawn. c5 takes space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn, if white captures the c5 pawn then black can reply with bxc3+, plus, winning the exchange. The pawn is now adequately defended. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This protects the attacked pawn. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Recaptures. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. It is the last book move. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This threatens to fork pieces. It is good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This threatens to kick a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is good. There was only one good move in that position. This misses a better way to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. This allows the opponent to kick a bishop. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to recapture a piece. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a mistake. Capturing that bishop wins material. It is best. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is a mistake. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is good. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This ignores a better way to defend a knight that was under attack. It is a mistake. This defends the attacked rook. This is the only good move. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is a great move. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game.